job 25384. This is called Big Lots. Uh, it's a striping project that we're looking at for VL management. Okay, I was speaking to Alexis and I actually drove out to this parking lot in Burien today and I noticed that the striping was already done in this parking lot. And she explained to me that um, they don't want everything striped. They just want to have um, some things striped. So I'm going to open this up, blow this up since uh, I was already out there and now she just emailed me and told me what she wants. I'm going to show you what they want to do here. <clears throat> so all of these stalls are already striped. They say to match existing, so we're not going to have to do anything there. But when we get down here to this area, we're going to have to um, black out and then restripe um, the new layout. Here's what the layout looks like right now. Okay, you can see that that cross hatching on the right is an eight foot wide cross hatch. And what they want to do is they want to reduce the size of that cross hatch to only be five foot, which is a pretty, that's a standard regular cross hatch. What you see in this photo right now is what's existing. And on the right hand side where those two ADAs are, that one's about an eight foot wide. We need to change that to five foot. Okay. So here's the layout. We need to take those two existing ADA stalls and that cross hatch. We need to black out basically these two symbols, some of this cross hatch, and then that stall. We need to change the parking stall to be 12 foot wide, um, which might mean we need to black out that stall line as well. So put in a 12 foot wide ADA stall, then a five foot wide cross hatched area, then a nine foot wide ADA stall, and then the remaining stall will probably be somewhere around eight feet or something like that. Okay, so basically what we'll have to black out is that line, these two lines, and then this line as well as the two ADA. So uh, we'll probably need, uh, we'll probably need just a couple gallons, like two gallons of black. And so on our bid, it should say blackout existing ADA stalls and cross hatch and put in like two gallons of black. And then what we'll end up doing is redoing this layout here for this stall, this stall, the cross hatch and this stall. Okay. So placement will be um, 50 feet of cross hatch, two new ADA stencils and 36 feet of stall striping. And that should do it. Uh, notes number seven and number nine, we don't have to worry about that because those ramps, the, the ADA ramp is already there, as you can see. Just zoom that in here. I can uh, take it to street level here, I think. <clears throat> so there you have it. There's the street level. That ADA ramp is existing, so it's not, my, not, not, not much we can do there. Um, I do see that we need to add one ADA sign to put on that column. So we will need one ADA sign and it'll need to be van accessible. Okay. Um, what else in the notes? Um, it shows, it shows two wheel stops in this, but I'm not sure if that's something we're going to have to do here. Hold on. Okay, well, I see that there's some ADA signage that they're calling out on this detail, which is a very weird ADA signage. It's right here. Um, this is going to be saved into Google Drive, but it looks like they want us to put these type of um, ADA signs in, which is really strange. So that means the sign that's on this post right here, that needs to be a 12 by 18 
parking only, minimum five two fifty, and then it needs to have van accessible underneath it. Okay. Uh, it's supposed to be eighty inches. Signs located within accessible route shall be eighty inch minimum, or above ground surface. Uh, they can be posted on a wall at the interior end of the parking space. So that's what we're doing. We're going to do like what's over there on that one. We'll have to take that off and then we'll have to put in a 12 by 18 parking only minimum fine 250. Um, we'll have to send this to Alpine and get a price from them on those two signs. Okay. I believe these are 12 by 6, 12 inch by 6. And those are 12 inch by 6. And then these are... 12 by 18s. Now this sign here, the additional tow-away sign should be a 17 inch minimum. Um, it doesn't say. So what we'll do is we're gonna ask Alpine for a price on a 17 inch by 22 inch. Um, we'll go with um, standard reflectivity instead of it being high intensity or anything like that i think we can just go standard and uh have that kind of wording on it um how many do we need i'm not positive i'm gonna say two of them one for each one and when we go to stick it on the post it might have to go below uh the ada signs because we can only go so high up on the thing Okay, so we'll need a price for one of those, one of those, one of those little van accessible signs, one of those minimum fine signs, and then a 17 by 22 black on white um, engineer grade. That's what it's called, the reflectivity is engineer grade on these. Okay. Um, okay. So that should do it for this. Like I said, everything up against the building on the left-hand side, from the cross hatch in the middle to the left, and from the cross hatch to the right, we don't have to. We do not have to stripe the three stalls that go to the right, or the one, two, three, four, five stalls that go to the left. We don't have to do that. All right. Any other questions? Let me know. This will all be on Workman's and Google Drive.